been known as Minion Loomer, and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Mike Wazowski, and he is a Tsum Tsum, and he is from the movie Monsters, Inc., or Monsters University. I will pull up a picture to show you how those movies look like. Without further ado, I am going to get started on explaining the materials you will be needing to create this design. So you'll need one rainbow balloon. You also need a hook. Today I'm using a simple metal tip hook. And it's just much easier to hook with. You will also need some bands. So today I am using the neon green color from Rainbow Loom. Now I will have the exact band count in the description box down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But the only part that you'll need are four tan color bands and this is for the horns for Mike Wazowski. And these tan bands are from the camouflage pack from Rainbow Loom. You will also be needing a single black band and this is going to be for the center portion of the eye. And last but not least, you will be needing a single white band, and this is for the outer portion of the eye. So without further ado, get your supplies, and we will get started with making Michael's house. So to get started, you're going to take a neon green band and go from the center pin and place it in the middle. And by the way, this is a single band. Now we are going to switch to double bands now, so that means two bands. And we are going to take these two bands and go from the center pin and bring it to the down pin here and place it on the right pin. And if you were looking at it like this, so I simply placed it on the right pin. So now we are going to get started with taking two more bands and go from the center pin to the top portion of the pin. And it looks like this. Now just take double of our bands again and go from the far top portion of our loom and bring it straight forward in double bands. And we are going to do that but with the bottom portion. So just take two bands and place it straight forward on your loom. So that looks like this. Now what we are going to do is take double of our neon green and go from the center pin and just bring it straight forward like so then you're going to take double of our neon green bands and go from the center pin straight forward like that so now we are making by the way i forgot to mention we are making the head portion of the sum sum so we are going to now continue and take double of our neon green and go from the top pin into the center pin like so and place that there and you can use your hook to kind of twist the bands then take double of our neon green and go from the bottom pin upwards into the center pin just like that so now we have the head placed out and now we are going to get started with adding the little add-ons to our sum sum and first up I'm just gonna place the capping band so in order to do that I'm going to take my loom and take this, let's take a single band and you're going to place it on this portion here and just take it and then twist it and then place that over and we are wrapping this capping band around our loom three times. So there's two and three. So you should see a total of three loops. So there is one, two, and three. And now what we are going to do is get started with placing the horns and then we'll get started with creating the hands. So to make the horns, you're just going to set your loom to the side and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. So you're going to take a single tan band and wrap it around your hook four times on your hook. So there's two, three, and four. And then you're going to take a single tan band and just place it on your hook. And you're going to twist it once in a figure eight. Take these two bands and you're going to slide it through this cap band of four. And then simply reclaim so that you have one horn made. 
and go ahead and scoot that down on your hook and I'll show you how to make the ear once more. So take a band and wrap it around your hook four times or three times creating four loops. So there's three and then once more. So that's four loops. Then take a band, you're going to twist it one time, which makes two loops, and you're going to stretch that out, and then slide this band through. And then go ahead and reclaim on your hook. So now you should have two horns completed, and we are now going to place it on this pin right here, and this pin right here. And this is the top portion. So I am going to take my hook and place it, take one of the ears and place it at the top portion on the right pin carefully. There will be a lot of tension as you start hooking it, but it's okay. That's why you get a metal hook and it should do much wonders. And then you're going to take the other horn and just place it on the left side with a pin and you want to make sure that the horns place um, outwards like this. So now we have both the lovely horns created and we are now going to get started with making the feet or the um, hands. So now we are going to get started with the next step. So what you're going to do is take a single neon green band and you're just simply making a triangle band which is just like this. And now we are going to get started with making the hands for Mike Wazowski. And in order to do that, you're gonna take your hook and some neon green bands, and you're gonna take a band and just wrap it around your hook three times, which creates three loops, or two times, which creates three loops. So I'll show you that once more or actually after this step. Then you just take two bands and you're going to slide that through this cap band of three loops and then reclaim. So that you have one hand, go ahead and slide that over and take a single band and wrap it around your hook three times. So there's once on your hook, twice on your hook, and once more, which is three loops. Then take two of our neon green bands and just slide it through and reclaim the other end. So now you have the two hands completed and we are going to place it on this end and on this end of our Tsum Tsum. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So take one hand and just simply place it on this portion. So that looks like this. And I'm going to now place it on this portion from the horn but to the bottom pin. And make sure it's pointed sideways like this. So now we have Mike Wazowski's hands and horns on. Now we are going to get started with creating the lovely eye. So to simply make the eye, you're gonna take a single white band and you're just going to wrap it around your loom three times. So there's one, now fold that over, so that's two. Then you're going to twist it once more. So then that's three. So now you should have a total of three loops on this pin and we will hook that up later and by adding the black portion to the center pupil of the eye. So that we'll do that later. So now we're going to get started with the next proportion of the design by adding the two center pieces and then the back portion, which is super easy if you made the other Tsum Tsums. So to get started with the center portion, I will show you how to make one and then you can go back and rewind the video to rewatch that again to make the second portion. So simply what you're going to do is take a white, I mean a white band, take a neon green band and just place it on this pin here. And this is a single band. Then you're going to take double of our neon green and place it from the right side of our loom first, or the bottom portion of our loom. And then you're going to take double of our neon green bands and go from the center pin to the left pin, or the top pin. 
Then you're going to take two bands and go straight forward from the top left pin forward. Then take two more bands and just do the same step but on the opposite end. Then we are going to take two neon green bands and just go straight forward on our loom in the center. Then do that once more. Take two bands and place it into the center and push that down. And make sure to always remember to push your bands down as you go. Now you're going to take double of our neon green and just go from the left pin straight forwards into the center or the top pin and just straight forwards into the center. Or actually not straight forward, but you want to turn it to the center. Now you're going to take two green bands and go from the right pin upwards into the center pin. So that it looks like this. Now what we are going to do is simply take a single neon green band and make a triangle band. Just like that. And then you're going to make a cap band of three loops. So here's one. Twist that around. So that's two. Twist it again and then replace it on your loom. So that's three. So you should see a total of three loops on your loom. And now go ahead and pause the video and rewind it if you want and just repeat that same step by making another one of these pieces, the same exact pieces, just on the other side right here of this portion. So go ahead and pause the video and I will be back. So now this is how your loom should start looking like. And you should have those two center pieces made. And now we are going to get started with creating the back piece. And this is the final piece that we have to make. So in order to do that, we are going to take a band and just place it right here. And this is a single band. Then you're going to take double of our neon green and just place it from the center pin to the right side of our loom or the downwards portion of our loom. And then you're going to take double of our neon green and just go from the left pin. Basically, we are repeating the same exact portion what we just did here, but just place it on this pin. The only difference is we are adding the feet on. So just go ahead and take double of our neon green and just place it straight forward. Then take double of our neon green here and place that straight forward, but on the opposite pin. Then take double of our neon green and just go from the center pin straight forward and do that once more in the center. Then you're going to take double of our neon green and go from this left pin and bring it to the center. Just like that. And now go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side. So now this is where we are going to stop right here and just simply make the uh, cap band. So just take a band and wrap it around your loom three times on this pin. So that's two and once more, which is three loops on the capping band. And now we are going to get started with making the feet and then we'll get started with the looming process. But first up, I forgot to mention, take a single neon green band just make that cap band and then place it on your loom. Now we'll get started with creating the feet. So I'm gonna set this loom to the side and get started with creating the feet. So in order to do that, so take your hook and we are simply going to take four of our bands. So take a single band and wrap it around your hook three times, so two, three so you should have three loops on your hook then take double of our neon green bands and just simply slide that through and reclaim just like what we did with the front of the hands we're repeating that same step then you're going to take three more bands take a band wrap it around your hook three times which creates three loops then you're going to take double of our green bands and just slide that through so that you have three on your hook and just slide that through now you should have two hands I mean two feet done and we are just going to place it on the bottom portion of our loom here so I'm going to add it on this pin and on this pin 
to take it and just place it on this pin and place that there my hooks is getting stuck and just reorganize it up a bit now I'm going to place it on the other end so take your feet and just place it here and make sure they are turned to the outside so that they look like this now we are getting ready to do the hooking process which starts right now so i'm gonna flip my hook around i mean my loom around and get started with the hooking process we're going to get started with the hooking process so what we are going to do is take our hook and insert it into this capping band right here so make sure it's a cap band three i clearly messed up on that i did two so one two and now three so now what you are going to do, always make sure you double check your cap bands because sometimes it can really mess up sometimes. So what you are going to do is insert your hook into this capping band and grab the top two green bands and you're going to hook it to the left of our loom. And go back in, grab the top two bands and now hook it to the right side of our loom that it looks like this and now what we are going to do is take our hook and go into the center pin just take these two green bands and hook that forward go back in take these two green bands and hook that straight forward like so now we are going to insert our hook into this portion on the left side of our loom so just insert our hook in here and grab the very bottom two neon green bands and careful not to grab this triangle band and just hook that straight forward now go on this side grab the bottom two neon green bands and just hook that forward then go on the left pin and grab these two green bands and hook it into the up center right pin so that looks like this then take these two bands and hook that into the center from the left just like that so now we have the back portion almost done but all we have to do is go into our hook to all these loops and grab this single neon green band and you're just gonna hook it to the left. Then to make a slip knot, just grab this bottom band here and hook that over. Take this band and remove it off your loom and just give it a tight tug so that you've made a slip knot. And then you just place it back on this pin if you would like. So now we have our back piece ready and now I'm gonna show you how to hook one of these center pieces and then go back and hook this one. So like I said, make sure you have your capping band on right, which I do have three loops. Now I'm going to insert my hook and grab the top two green bands and hook it to the left pin. Go back in, grab the top two green bands and hook it to the right pin. Then you are going to go back into the cap band. Just grab these two bands and hook it straight forward. Go back into this pin here and just hook these two bands straight forward. Now go from the left side of our loom, grab the very bottom two green bands and just simply hook it forward. Then take these two green bands and hook it to the left pin from the center pin. So just go into the center and hook that there. Now go ahead and insert our hook here. Grab the very bottom two neon green bands and hook it straight forward. Then go into this pin, grab these two neon green bands and hook it into the center pin. Then go ahead and insert your hook into everything pretty much here until you grab this single neon green band and hook it to the left pin. And then grab this bottom band and hook it over and give it a tight tug so that you make the slip knot and just go ahead and then twist it and place it there for now so now i showed you guys how to hook these this back piece here and the center piece here now for this piece here it's the same exact piece as this piece 
So just go ahead and rewind the video and hook what we just did here, but just do it to this piece. And I will be back to show you how to hook the lovely face and we'll get started with that as soon as you finish this piece. So now to get started with hooking the head or the face, what we are going to do is take our hook and go into this capping band and grab the top two green bands and just hook it to the left pin. Then you're gonna go back into this capping band and grab the top two neon green bands and hook it to the right pin. Now this is where it's gonna be a little bit different, but we are going to take two of our, these green bands and just hook it straight forward. And you're now going to pull the cap band of white, just pull it back of the three loops. So pull back those three loops of the capping band and just take these two um, neon green bands and just hook it forward like so. So I will be showing you how to place the uh, black pupil into the middle in a bit. So what we are going to do now is just simply pull back the hand bands and grab the bottom two green bands and hook it straight forward on our loom. And do the same step with the other side. So go on the right side of our loom and just hook these two bands straight forward. Now we are going to pull back the horns and grab the very bottom two neon green bands and carefully hook that into the center pin from the left. And you can kind of untwist it if you like. Then go ahead and do that on the other side. So pull back those horns and take these two bands and hook that into the center pin from the left. Now the last thing what we have to do is pull back everything and grab this single band and hook that forward. Grab this bottom band now. So grab this bottom band and just hook it over and give that a tight tug so that we make a slip knot. So now we have all of our pieces completed to make the Tsum Tsum. Now what you are going to do is take each of these pieces and remove it off your loom and I will be back to show you all the finished pieces. I just remove them off the loom and you're going to take each of these pieces and give them a good stretch so that they become evenly placed and pull out the feet. So here is the back piece and then we'll do the same step but with the other pieces. So this is one of these center pieces. Just give that a good stretch that one and then we are going to continue off with the other pieces. Now we are at the face and you want to carefully pull these little horns out of your seam seam. And you can kind of face them so that they are going up in a way. So what you do you just simply turn it over and give it a slight pull and then pull out the hands and stretch this out a bit. And you should have his little face formed. So now what we are going to do, I'm going to show you how to place the pupil on. It looks like this. Now, in order to do that, you wanna take a look at the eyepiece and you wanna make sure the part that seems like it's getting pushed in, that's gonna be the back portion. And this is going to be the front portion, which is getting the piece going out. So you're going to take a look at the eye and you know that the eye has a cap band of three loops so in order to, um, what we're going to do is pull the eye a bit forward so that it pops out just like this one. So I'm going to do this nice and slowly for you guys. So take your hook and you want to grab these three loops that you see right here. So if you only see two, you want to go back and try your best to find the third loop. So that looks like this. And give it a good tug. So now it looks like this. And you should see there's the top chain here. And you know that that top chain has four loops. 
so you're going to take two of the loops from the right side and just give it a tug towards the right then you're going to see the other two from the left and give that a tug to the left and you should start seeing that there is the top portion with white bands on top and there's three other at the bottom so what we are going to do is take these three loops and place it on our hook then after separating these bands you want to carefully grab the other side for the three loops just make sure there are three loops if there are only two you might want to go back and grab the other two this might be just the challenging part so it'll take a while so you just want the whole cap band to be pushed on the hook so if we take a look this is the whole capping band there's three loops on this side and three loops on this side which is basically like a little circle it's forming so now after we have that we are going to take these two green bands on each side and kind of push them down a bit and now take our hook and just pop it off and carefully make sure it doesn't go back into the same position it was and you want to pull the eye out forwards so that looks like this go ahead and take these two and just separate it so that it looks like this so now we've pushed the eye out and now I'm going to show you guys how to add the pupil or make the pupil so in order to do that if we turn our Mike Wazowski around, we should see the back portion. And if we carefully give it a tug, you see that there is the bottom chain and the top chain. You want to insert our hook to the bottom chain. So if we flip it around, we can insert our hook just into the bottom chain, close to the cap end, like that. Then take our hook and slide it through this cap band, just like that. So you want to make sure there's three loops and then that back chain. Take a black band and just carefully slide it through, so that looks like this. And so you have the band slid through one side. Now you want to insert your hook to the top chain, so which is right here insert your hook from the other end and you want to place the cap band that on your hook so the cap band of three so like that so now you have the top portion and of the chain you insert your hook through then you're gonna grab the other side on the chain and just place it on then you're gonna take this black band and just carefully place it on your hook and take it and slide it through the top portion. So take it and just slide it through. So there's that. And then just pull it through the other end. So give it a stretch and then pull through. So that it looks like this. And if you take a look, you should careful you'll probably see like a tiny dot in there. But you'll get to pull it out later. So I'm just going to take the C-clip for now and just clip it onto these two ends. So I'm going to take my C-clip and this is optional, but or you can use a band and just slide it through. So just place it on these two ends. This is just so that the eye doesn't get lost track from the back part. Now what we are going to do is take a look on the other side and you want to kind of open it up a bit so if we take our uh, cap band back on our hook and give it a good stretch it should look like this and you can see from the bottom you see the black little band right here so the slip knot that we made you want to kind of pull out the cap band and try to pick up from the inside this uh, black slip knot band that we just pulled you want to take these and just pull it through the uh, inside of the um, of the white so that it looks like this and you should see that the pupil is forming just kind of give it a small tug so not too much of a tug and it should look like this 
and you can see that these two ends are clipped together and you carefully want to pop the c-clip off so take your hook and carefully place these two ends back on and remove the c-clip just like that and don't pull it too tight because then this can go back in and you'll have to try to pull it back out but for now just take a single um, green band slide it through and just make a slip knot and you should see that the pupil is out on the other side so now just go ahead and hide this pupil from one of the bands or hide the slip knot so you're just pulling it through any other bands Now, I tried my best to hide it, but it still looks like this, but do not worry. Now that we have the pupil on, we are going to insert our hook from the side now. And just hide this top slip knot. Just careful not to pull on any of the other bands. And be careful because you can lose the pupil again. So like for me, on mine, I did lose the pupil, but it's okay because I can just simply, carefully pull these slip knot ends to the inside. Just like that. So now we've finished the face and we are now going to move on with the other pieces. So what you're going to do with the other pieces is carefully insert from the side and just simply hide the slip knot. So to do that, I'll show you how to do one, and then you can do the rest. So just go from the side portion and take the slip knot, and just carefully slide that through. And then give it a slight tug, so that it looks like this. So we hit that slip knot. And now, brush it the back portion, so just insert from the side, take the slip knot. it's time to do the closure you're going to need somewhere around an estimation of 10 bands to do this and you'll need your four pieces to uh, sew these pieces on together so in order to do that we're going to sew it so that it looks just like this we're doing the same closure what we did um, if you check out we're doing the same closure what we did with the other Tsum and if you checked out All Things Disney's video on the stitch, um, Tsum Tsum, it's the same exact closure. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this simple closure. So you're going to, first up, insert your hook through all the capping bands. So you should have a cap band of three loops on the bottom portion. So this is the back piece. Now you want the two center pieces. So take uh, your center piece and slide it through. So slide this cap band on that hook and just slide it down. Take the other center piece and just slide that through the cap band, your hook. Then you're going to slide the face portion in carefully. And it should look like this. So you can see your seam seam is coming along. But now this is where we are going to do the closure or the sewing part. So you're going to take your hook and slide a single band and put it on the tip of your hook and just slide this neon green band through all of these pieces. And just to remember, this is just a single green band. And go ahead and you don't have to reclaim, just make sure you have this placed somewhere so I just put it on my finger or you can put it on a C-clip for now. So I'm going to clip that into the C-clip. And now what we are going to do is kind of sandwich these pieces together. And you want to take a look at the back piece. And you should see there is a chain on this by the foot. So if we take a look, you see this chain. You're going to take your hook and take these two loops. 
and then the other side, these two loops. So you have four loops on your hook, slash this one that you just slid the band through. So you're going to take that. Now we're going to take one of these center pieces and take a look at it. You should see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're sliding a band through and we're sewing it around these six um, places. So take your hook and slide it through these four loops. So it looks like this. We're just putting it at the bottom portion of the uh, piece. So these two four loops. And if we take a look at the face, these four loops by the hand, or the cat band. So that looks like this. Now you're gonna take the band with the C-clip and just place it on your hook and pop it off the C-clip for now. And take a single green band and just slide it through everything on your hook. including this band right here and carefully reclaim and then take the C-clip and clip it on this side and now it should look like this now we're going to move the feet over and we are going to insert our hook on the side portion now so take a look at this hexagon piece and you want to insert to these four loops now this is the top portion of the foot now now if we take a look here, we want to insert our hook on the side, so these four loops, and grab these four loops, so that it looks like this. Then we're going to take this piece and grab this side, so make sure you're grabbing four loops at a time. Now this is where we are at, and we're by the foot in the horn area. You want to grab these two bands and go ahead and grab these two bands. So that looks like this. Then take this band and just place it on your hook, the one with the C-clip, and then pop the C-clip off. And then take a single band, just slide it through everything carefully try not to grab any other bands and then take this band slide through the glass finale band and then take a c-clip and place it on the first band and then pop it off so you can see that it's starting to sew together each of the pieces now we are going to start sewing the top part really soon soon so take a look here and you want to grab these two loops Take a look, you want to grab these two loops here hidden. So now you have four loops. Now go over here, and you want to grab these four loops. So these two, and these two. Now we're going to take a look over here, grab these two loops, and these two loops at the top. Now over here, we're by the horn, in between the other horn you're going to go here and take these two loops and then these two loops right here and then take the band with the c-clip and just place it on your hook and then pop it off and then take another neon green band and just slide it through everything and then take the band and just slide that through the other end, then take a C-clip and then just clip it on for now. And we're going to switch to the other side. So we are band on band number four around the hexagon portion. So we're going to start sewing all these pieces on the other side. And just, yeah. So I'm going to take these two bands and these two bands, place it on the hook. Take a look over here, take these two bands, these two bands, place that on the hook, and do the same with these two. 
and you want to continue that all the way around. So now we're by the head and place that on your hook. And I might have grabbed more than one. Just want to grab two. Or actually four of each piece. Then take the band with the C clip and then place it on your hook and then remove the C clip. Then take the single neon green band and slide it through everything. So I'm now going to do that. And now this is where it gets kind of easier. So now I'm going to place this band with the C-clip on and then remove the C-clip off. So you can see it's starting to form. Now we got two more pieces to go. So now you can see more clearly that the side stitches are showing much clearer. So you're gonna take a look and insert your hook to these four loops, to these four loops, to these four loops. And last but not least, these four loops. So these two, not this little band, because that's the slip knot band, but you wanna grab these two loops right here. And then place this sequel back on, and you wanna pop it off your hook and then take a single band and slide it through everything. And go ahead and do that. And then take this band and slide it through. Now go ahead and place the C-clip on. So we just place the C-clip on and now we are at the final side pieces of what we have to do for the closure. So we just sewed all the way around and now we are at the bottom, which is the last section that we have left. So we are going to take our hook and insert it to all these bottom pieces. So take these two loops and followed along by the other half of that. Then take these two loops followed along by the other half of that. These two loops followed along by the other half of that and do the same thing what we just did. So now it looks like this. Then place the band with the C-clip and pop it off your hook and make sure you have it placed on your hook. Not the C-clip but the band. Then you're going to take this band, another neon green band, and slide it through everything and then just slide it through this finale final band and you're going to reclaim now this is where we are going to stop so no need to add any more c clips on you're just going to need simply two bands and take one neon green and just simply carefully slide it through one end of the bands and make a slip knot and give that a tight tug and do the same thing with the other side And now, it should look like this. Our Mike Wazowski is almost complete. All we have to do is hide these tails of slip knots through the Mike Wazowski. So what I'm going to do is insert my hook into all of these cap bands right here. Take this end and just pull it through all these cap bands. Give that a good tug so that it looks like this. And then go ahead and take, go into the opposite side and slide your hook through some bands. And then go ahead and simply hide this band again that we just slid through the cap bands. Just hide it through the other side. And then you can go back and hide it through the cap bands again if you want is just so we can hide it and you can slide it through this final piece here and now looks like that now we have this other end to hide so what we can do is go ahead and insert our hook into these pieces here and hide this band through some of the loops Make sure you're not grabbing any other band. And then just go ahead and hide it through the cap bands if you'd like. 
feel like hiding it through the cap bands would probably be much easier to do. Just make sure you're not grabbing any other bands and pulling them out. Now we can start giving him a stretch, or not a stretch, but like kind of a squish. And pull out his feet, his arms. And the way you pull it out is by the cap band. So just kind of yank the cap band a bit. So now once we do that, pull out the horns. And you can kind of make them go straight up. And do the same thing. And now we have our Mike Wazowski Tsum Tsum completed. And this is how you make Mike Wazowski as a Tsum Tsum. Comment down below who I should make next after making the Chip and Dale. I do have another surprise Tsum Tsum, but I will not show you that just yet. I will probably show it to you guys after I do the Dell and Chip tutorial, so stay tuned for that. I did post the surprise soon soon though on my Instagram story. It won't be up by the time you watch this video because I posted it a week ago. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this video on making the Mike, Mike Wazowski Tsum Tsum. Comment down below what's your favorite Tsum Tsum that I've made, that you guys made so far. And comment down below some more tutorial suggestions if you guys haven't already done so. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy this video on making Mike Wazowski, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this. And if you do subscribe to my channel, you guys can become part of the Minion Loom Squad. And if you turn those notifications post notifications on you guys can be notified when i post new tutorials like this anyways i will see you guys in my next video